I've talked to a lot of comedians, I've done some interviews with them talking about just this environment of cancel culture, you know, if you tell the wrong joke, you know, you got to watch your material and, and you have to worry about political correctness. How do you view the landscape right now? Is it, is it fair to comedians? What, what do you think? I think that anyone who doesn't want to hear something has an absolute right to voice their opinion on that. I don't, as far as I can tell, no comedian is going to jail for anything they've said. They've had to bear the brunt of strangers' opinions. That's free speech, that's the free market, that's all in the game. And I think that people should have a right to that. And at the end of the day, it's about what the market wants. And if certain people don't want to hear that, you can't play that venue. But it doesn't mean you can't go find the people that want to hear what you're talking about. So just work a little harder as a comic to find the people that want to hear what you're saying or change up what you're saying. But I don't think that there is this ideology that you did the wrong joke and you can never make a dollar ever again in life. You like, gotta find the people. Like with what happened with Chappelle, that's an example of you know you have activist groups who are advocating for certain causes, like the LGBT community, for example. They get upset based on a certain joke. Do you think Chappelle handled that well? Looking back on that situation, I think what Chappelle did work for him. You know, at the end of the day, we can use Chappelle as an example for cancel culture. But after all of the LGBTQ uproar, Netflix signed him to four more hour specials. A 20 mil a pop. Find your audience. You know, it's unfortunate, but that's what that's what it is. I think the mistake that we've made in our society right now is believing that corporations put morality over money. And they don't. Most corporations, including Netflix, including even where I work with Paramount and Viacom, like at some point it's about profitability first. And then if there's room for some morals, you'll sneak that in. And I think that's ultimately what you see with pretty much every channel, every person, every group. It, it, I think at the end of the day, we have a right to speak out and be heard, and it creates opportunities for other voices to have a place at the table. And I think that's the most important thing to come from cancel culture, is that other voices are finally being heard and listened to and understood so that there is more understanding in the world.